Hi guys, so I've been swatching my China Glaze collection recently and today I have approximately half of it to share with you. Um, so I've, like I did with my Orly collection, I've had a look what collections they were from um, and what dates and things so I can give you a bit of more information about the polishes. So first up I have two that I couldn't find anything about and the first one is liquid leather. Um, I haven't done a swatch for this one because basically A it's black and B um, the formula on mine is just awful. Um, I've heard a lot of people say really good things about it but mine just is not, it's definitely not a good formula. Um, so I tend to use this just when I can on if I'm needing black as a base on swatch sticks or something. Um, so that one's liquid leather. And second up is this pretty blue called Rainstorm and it's got a really pretty, it's got like a blue shimmer to it and it's also got like a purpley flash in it. Um, really pretty polish but I just don't know what collection it's from or I mean it, it, whether it's part of their main line um, I'm just not sure so let me know if you've got it that one's rainstorm okay so next up I've got quite a few well, I've got four Halloween polishes um, but I think they're all from different collections um, there are some more Halloween polishes that I would like uh, like don't let the dead bite which obviously is quite hard to come by um, and some others but yeah so I will show you the four I've got so first up is sort of an ugly pretty um, it's not one that I would necessarily reach for but is a good one for Halloween and because it's from a Halloween collection I feel like I want to keep it and that this one's called It's Alive so it's like um, it's like a moss greeny colour with just filled with glitters and things. Um, I saw a really nice swatch of this on Instagram recently and I can't remember who it was by. Uh, so basically, just check <laughs> that I'm gonna tell you about the, the, right, uh, the right polish. So It's Alive was from the Haunting Collection, which was Halloween 2011. So this is actually a really old polish. Um, yeah, so like, eight years old which is pretty good going um, the formula on it is still fine nothing wrong with that so uh, yeah so I do feel the need to keep this one so that's it's alive um, next up I have uh, how will you do in which is like a purple jelly based glitter bomb sort of pretty <laughs> Uh, my amazing descriptions there so it's this one here it looks quite dark you might not be able to see it very well on camera um, but this one was from the Monsters Ball collection which was Halloween 2013 so another oldish one there but quite a pretty one I've worn that a few times actually uh, then recently I found uh, Malibu Boo which was from last year's Halloween collection and I've noticed this is the only one I've got with a white writing um, on top of it being a dark polish um, but this one I really like this one uh, when I first swatched it I yeah I just fell in love with it on my nails uh, really nice so this was painted black collection Halloween 2018 and that's Malibu Boo oh, and it's like a holographic black as well but it, I don't know, it's got a really unusual finish to it when it's dried. Uh, my fourth Halloween one I haven't got a swatch for because I received it very, very recently. So I have got a swatch stick, which is there. And this one is called Something's Brewing. And it's a black and sort of, it's like a pale don't know whether to call it a neon green or it's like a greeny yellow glitter in there. Um, I do love the neon glitters and this was gifted to me by Debbie. So thank you very much, Debbie. Um, and this one was from the Ghoul, Ghoul's Night Out collection, which was 2015. 
So I think I might have to have a look into the Halloween collections, the China Glaze ones. I've got quite a few, four different years there, which is, is quite good going. So uh, next up, I've got some fall polishes. So first we have the infamous Pearl Jamming. And for those of you who didn't know, this was from the Rebel Collection, which was fall 2016. Um, there it is there in all its glory. With that, that crazy flash through it. Um, such a well-known and well-loved polish. I think that one. That was Pearl Jamming. Uh, next up we have Autumn I Need That. And I think Louise sent me this one. I think. Um, but it's a really pretty one. And this one was... Um, yeah, from this one was from last year, so it was from the Ready to Wear collection Fall 2018. So there's Autumn, I need that. And also from that same collection, I have Mustard the Courage, which I picked up in Sally Beauty because it was on offer. And I did want it um, after hearing so many people talk about it. So that's Mustard the Courage. Okay, then I have one which isn't a full polish, but it's like a an orangey colour, so it's sort of like a full, a full colour for me. Um, this one's called Pop Your Trunk, and it's this one here. Um, and this one is from the Road Trip Collection in 2015. I'm not sure actually when about's in the year that one was released. That's Pop the Trunk, just a sort of, it's sort of a crelly formula. Um, it's not a jelly, but it's not a cream either, but just a nice orange, that one. Um, so again, Pop the Trunk, and obviously you could also use that for Halloween. Uh, we then have one which is um, a spring polish. So this was from the E Collection, spring 2008. So very, very old. Um, <laughs> probably, I don't know if I've got any older than this. And I'm just going to, the, the formula is still fine on this. Um, this is actually one of my favourite China glazes. Um, I love to use this, but, well, the label's starting to rub off. That's how old it is. Um, but I do like to use this as a Halloween green. So although it's a spring green and it's got a green, bit of a green shimmer in there, I do tend to use it around Halloween. So that's Tree Hugger. Um, then we have four sort of random ones. The first one I picked up, because again it's an orange. Um, this is called Riveting, and it's from the Capital Colours collection, which was in 2012. Um, yeah, this is actually a really pretty polish. Um, I was quite impressed with this when I put it on my nails. So that's Riveting. Um, then we have, I've got a couple of um, ones with different lids, so these have got a grey lid on them. And first up is a textured polish called Seahorse in a Round. Um, you've, uh, most of you have probably heard of this one. It was from, where are we? It was from the Sea Goddess Collection, Spring 2014. And I really, really want to get some more from this collection. So I... Do keep looking out. I know um, um, Rachel Corinne got, um, I think she got all of these off eBay or Amazon or something. Um, this was a while back, so they are still out there, so I may find them. So that's Seahorse in Around. And like I say, it is a textured one. Then we have Full Spectrum, which is like a silvery based glitter bomb I suppose quite an unusual one this one and this one was from if I can find it from the prismatic chroma glitters in spring 2012 don't know what other ones were in that collection I have no idea where I got this one from but that is full spectrum and last but not least for this half, uh, we have, it's a trapeze. 
Again, this this at one point this was one definitely one of my favourite China glazes. I haven't worn it in a long time. Um, it's not the formula is okay, but it's quite a thick polish in general because of the amount of glitter in there. So it probably could do with a little more. Although I don't know if it could do thinning down. I think it's just just the general general formula of it. So for those of you who haven't seen it, it's a white base with silver and multicoloured glitters in it. It does dry a bit textured because of the amount of glitter in it. But this one was from the Cirque du Soleil World's Away collection in 2012. So a lot of these ones were older polishes. I have got a couple, one, and that's a lie, I've got more than a couple. I've got quite a few newer ones coming up in the second half. Um, I hope, hope this is something you've all enjoyed and I haven't waffled through it too quickly so you can appreciate all of the, the beauties there. Uh, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.